So let's get in and have a look at the story of John White and the hidden star fort. The Virginia PARS map was produced from explorations conducted by members of Sir Walter Raleigh's Roanoke, a colony of 1584 to 1590. The remarkably accurate map depicts the coastal area from Chesapeake Bay to Cape Lookout, including the location of many Native American villages visited by the colonists. So this is a portion of the map drawn by John White, as you can see, map John White, circa 1585. And the story for the map, this map is kept at the British Museum, and it was back in 2012, May the 3rd, 2012, Library archaeologists and scholars from the First Colony Foundation and the British Museum will discuss recently discovered new information previously hidden within the map and possible implications for understanding the eventual fate of Raleigh's lost colonists. So this is talking about uh, when Sir Walter Raleigh went across to the New World, to the USA. John White travelled with him as the cartographer and basically they set up a colony but and everyone disappeared. They've never heard. They never heard from them again. Now this patch, they say, was done uh, to, so they could redo the shorelines because they weren't done correctly, and that may be true. But there is also this part of the map. This is both on the same map. These are blow ups, and this part of the map has this, which is another cover up. And this map is currently at the British Museum, and in 2012. They decided to have a look. Someone noticed that this was a piece of paper stuck on top, and it looks like it was done back in the when the map was made or soon after. Uh, but they decided to have a look to see if they could see through it. They were able to see through and see what was underneath. And this is what was underneath. A star. So that's looking very much like what we would call a star fort. It even has a citadel in the middle sitting on the banks of the river here and of course covered up because back in the 1500s there wasn't supposed to be anyone there building these big masonry forts and this is very interesting as there were not supposed to be any people there with the technology to build a construction like a big masonry fort a star fort and the other interesting piece of information is that star forts or bastion forts as they're known were basically first built or you know invented first constructed in the 1500s in uh, Italy and it says here star fortifications were further developed in the late 15th and early 16th centuries primarily in response to the French invasion of the Italian peninsula the French army was equipped with new cannon and bombards that were easily able to destroy traditional fortifications built in the Middle Ages. Star forts were employed by Michelangelo in the defensive earthworks of Florence and refined in the 16th century by Baudicere, Peruzzi and Vincenzo Scamozzi. The design spread out of Italy in the 1530s and 1540s. Now, the star that we're looking at is on a map that was drawn in around 1585. So that's 45 years after the first star fort started leaving Italy. And the story for star forts is that basically they were built by you know, star fort builders, you know, uh, skilled laborers that went around and built these forts. So how then did a group of these star fort builders with all the information and the skilled laborers get to the americas within 45 years and have this finished built and constructed in the americas and obviously they would have to find all the materials to construct the fort in the americas so this star fort is a bit of an anomaly and it kind of proves that the story they give us for star forts is false